Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome, folks. So we just listening to Paul, and guess what, man? I mean, my take, uh, they are nervous, folks, and they're done, and they were trying to, well, he was trying to spin each each and every way that, yeah, well, we're not going up anymore. Uh, you know, when they start talking about uh, housing, durable goods, uh, all of the, they, they know the squeeze is on, and that's it, and the market knows it too, folks, okay? We have the Dow Industrials right now up 248, NASDAQ up 190, S&P's up 46. You have gold down to 540 at uh, 1988. We get silver flat at 2296. Your lights we crude flat at 80.65, and the market itself, here we go. So the 10 years been trying to get off the lows. The 10 years up 27 ticks, 10701. The 30 years up a full point, plus eight ticks, at 110.22, and King Dollar, you know, is on the way of giving it up. King Dollar had been up at 256 ticks. It's up uh, 71 ticks right now, trading 106.732. The euro is at 105. The yen is at trading at 150.83, and the British pounds at 121. And if we go over to the S and P's, I'll do the the futures quick because the futures folks are in a intraday abc structure up to 4277 i'll show you how this took out the b point took it out with volume they both did we're up so we get another what 77 that's uh, another 17 points higher that i expect we're going to go into this close right here you can see that you had the upshot there you, you pull back a bit and then you just blew away this b point with volume so bottom line is this thing's going to run man and um you know the bottom that's that's how this is oh yeah no let's go to the 10 year take a look at the 10 year you know so we take a look at the 10-year. What you're going to see with the 10-year, the 10-year is off the lows. You have 20, 28, 28 ticks, folks. 32 ticks is a point, and you normally don't see the 10-year go up a point. I can tell you that. So you, you, here you go. You get 234,000 contracts traded. Uh, I can make the case right now. Look at this, man. Now, this is going to get interesting. No, not, not, not yet. Oh, this will be interesting. If we go up a little bit more, you can make the case. You can see this, this trend line that I just did out here uh, one more day 111.12 we're at 107.01 we get to 111.12 and you're going to see these interest rates dive pretty quick right now we're at uh, 4.763 4.99 is the high and we go into the gold market what you're going to see with the gold market the gold market rejected lower price out here today it did that the gold market just keeps continuing to reject lower price man we got down in 1978 uh, flips right back, 1989 right now. You get 181,000 contracts. and that, See, that's light contract volume because that's going into over 200,000 contracts. And on top of that, it didn't take a swing point out, not even close either. And then if we get into the dollar, we take a look at this dollar. What you're going to see inside the dollar is the dollar, you know, we were up... Uh, to 107.113, and right now you're at 106.735. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials right now is trading up uh, 227. Nasdaq's up 190. S&Ps are up 44. We'll come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. 
Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is right now trading up at 232. Nasdaq's up 192. S&Ps are up 45. And, you know, if you were listening to Powell out there, folks, uh, uh, model, you know, is it really intriguing that, uh, you know, they had some good questions, but one of the questions they didn't have out there was they should have got, well, particularly I think they should have got into commercial real estate because what had ended up happening is that when Powell was actually speaking, he, at the beginning, he was speaking quite a bit about real estate and durable goods. As soon as he brought up the durable, durable goods aspect of it, folks, okay, that was a heads up in a big way. Why? Because what happens is this. So, so picture, you got 8% interest rates going on, right? Well, right now we don't. Right now, I bet, you know, by, by tomorrow, the interest rate on a 30-year mortgage is probably either 7.75 or 7.3 three quarters. That, my take is that this rate's going to get out very quick. Well, by a point very quick, then we'll see you after that. But anyway, follow me through the, with this, this durable goods deal. What, what he was explaining was that, that it's already hitting that market. He knows that that market is frozen. You know, yes, what, what tends to happen, well, no, not what tends to happen, what, what has happened because there's such a shortage of homes, okay, is that the price is held, okay? That being said, though, it doesn't mean a thing when the price holds and no one's selling anything, okay? Because what's, what's the real price, okay? And, you know, there's sales going on, but you, you get the gist of it. It's a very tight market, okay? When he brought up the durable goods, it's a whole different ballgame. And the reason it's a whole different ballgame, folks, is this. The durable goods go right through our whole economy. I mean, in a monster way. You're talking about stores. You're talking about, you know, longer term. And he specifically, what he was saying is that consumers are not buying into longer-term durable goods, okay? They won't take that risk. That in itself, to me, was a monster heads up that, okay, he knows that it's already hitting the economy. They know that they're in a very, and have been in, in, in a tight range right now. And then what they brought up, that it's a two-sided risk right now. So as soon as it's a two-sided risk, okay, the bottom line, you're not gonna go up anymore. And in fact, what you're going to end up doing is that it's going to be the market itself, folks, that basically brings rates down. Just as I said, if you, you know, last week when I was talking about the aspect that when we were at zero rates, what had happened, it wasn't the Fed that went up first. If you look back at the 10 year rate, the 10 year rate is the thing that moved first, just as it's moving right now. And I suspect it will keep moving. 
You know, so this is going to get really intriguing from this point uh, coming out, you know, because the, bo the bottom line is, is that, you know, the rates have been fast, furious, they're high enough, and the rate of inflation, okay, has been slowing dramatically, not, not in a small way. You know, percentage-wise, it's been dramatic. Yeah, it's not down to 2% yet, but guess what? Before you know it, in six or seven months, it's going to be a 2%. It might be a 1.5%, okay? That whole deflationary deal, you know, there's going to be a leftover, uh, you know, basically, you know, hurting in the marketplace because of the fact that, you know, we've been into this now exactly a year and a half. If you want to hear something that's really wild, and I don't, I don't think I ever brought it up on the air, but I felt that this was going to play out exactly like 1989 played out. And that's how it's playing out. What had happened, folks, is this. is that you had a crash in 1987. It took a year and a half for that to hit the marketplace. And sure enough, it's the exact same type of setup. So it gets really, and that, when it did hit the marketplace by then, okay, the destruction had already been taking place in major cities. But that destruction only lasted about 14 months. That, that's, you know, that, that's, if you, you know, were or weren't around then, would it end up happening in Boston, New York, Florida, Alaska, um, Dallas, Texas, uh, oil market crashed, real estate market crashed, and something that you'd think you'd never see, uh, particularly now, is that in Boston in particular, the Japanese had bought land and buildings all over the United States, including Pebble Beach. The Arabs, the, the, the Middle East, okay, Saudi Arabia, uh, they, they had bought b a bunch of buildings in Boston. Well, guess what? They gave them all back. They gave the keys back. Think about that for a second. And if you are familiar with Boston now, you're just going to crack up, man, because I, I was at one McKinley place, and I remember, like, looking down the street saying, I don't even get this, man. No, and it was, you know, this is the first one that I had seen that was so fast and furious. And, you know, my perception was that, well, there's no way that, you know, you're talking about the Saudi billionaires giving the keys back. You're talking about the Japanese giving, and they all gave the keys back. They, these were these were these were buildings that were either just built or they gave the keys back, man. I mean, it was, it was amazing. Uh, anyway, my my take is that this is the same type of play out. Uh, I think we've peaked, and I think what you're going to see now is you're going to see a very quick backing up. You know, so we'll see where it shakes out. But um, I think he right from the get go, I think he was nervous, man. You know, I think he does a I think he does a good job. I'm, I'm not, you know. His transitional uh, inflation, they blew that in a monster way. I can't even understand that part of it. But as to the transparency of where they're thinking, you know, he, he all but was trying to say, well, he couldn't say it, but it almost was like he, he was almost saying like, hey, you know, we're, we're tightened. We're tightened as much as we're going to do, and we're going to see where the rest of this monetary policy comes out because the lag the lag is huge folks there's no doubt about that the lag the lag is huge so we'll see where it shakes out but you know um market wise okay uh you know if the interest rates start ticking down let me just go i want to go to a couple of these builders because what you are going to see is this it was interesting i was showing a house yesterday and the you know young couple and you get a feel for these people because the bottom line is that all these things, yeah, see Toll Brothers is taking off like a rocket ship. Tell you, this is, I'm telling you, man, hold on, because <coughs> the gravy train's coming back. Say, Toll Brothers is up $3.47. <coughs> Let me go to Lana. Because what's happening is this. I was saying to this young couple yesterday. So the housing is so tight, folks, okay, that, yes, the, the, yeah, Lenar's up 459. We, we, we got game on here. So what, what, what's going to happen, my take is what's going to happen is this. I, when I was talking to the couple yesterday, I was saying, you know, yes, the rates are high. I said, but what I think you have to understand is that as soon as these rates go lower, you are going to see housing explode again. And, the, and now, now, when, now where I'm going back to, listen to this, okay? And this is where, you know, Technically, okay, so we do charts, I do time in the trade, and I can teach all that stuff. But what does happen is that you have to have been through 
these cycles to at least, I'm speculating here, okay, no doubt, but to at least have a different type of uh, thought pattern on where we are. And what I remember, and I, and I was in the real estate business then too, okay, and I was only a kid, but that's when I had, was slinging pizzas and subs and all the rest of the stuff. And I used to smell like a hot dog every day, which I love that business. Um, but anyway, um, as soon as you know that rates start backing up, now this, I'm going to the 70s right now, that expands housing in two seconds flat. I mean, just boom. It goes and it goes so quick you can't see straight. Because why? Because lending or borrowing money is all about your signature and what you're gonna pay per month. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Moore joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are uh, trading up about uh, 240, 240, NASDAQ's up 204, S&Ps are up 47. Don't forget, folks, a week from yesterday, our man, Mr. Tim Ward, is going to be doing a webinar for you folks. Uh, it's an hour and a half webinar. It's only $149. And he's going to be going through the six secret ratios that he uses when he's looking at the S&P. You know, so if you come over to our website at TFNN, right on the front page, you're going to see these, uh, what he's going to go through, number one, and you will get the formulas for these ratios, folks, okay? 
So check it out uh, when Tim is on tomorrow, of course, because now what we do have is that now you're going to sign a strain. So now what's also going to end up happening, if you've been following uh, myself and Tim on Tuesdays and Thursdays, he already hit the gold. The, the gold is already on its way. And now what you're going to have is the S&Ps are on its way because what's going to happen here is that this is going to be a sign of strength. You get, you get the wide price spread. You get the volume that's coming in. What we just did is uh, we just got back inside the higher range also. You can see it, it blew right back inside this, which is, which is really positive. So what this is saying here is that now, you know, bottom line, you broke the downtrend. So where are you going to go? You're going to, right now we're at 423. Well, 438 is the next step up. And we'll see what happens there. We take a look at the Qs, and you're going to see the, you know, the Qs have always been stronger than the SPY in a monster way, okay? So in the Qs, you're going to see that, number one, the bottom line is that, yeah, look at this. It's that The Qs are inside the higher range, period. So check this out. If you're watching Tiger TV, you're going to see that line that's going across there, okay? That's the higher range, man. You know, yeah, you, your first spot, you were 357, your first spot is up there at the 373, but the bottom line, when you're in the higher range, you're talking about all the way up there at 387. Let me pull this back a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's set up. And, and now if you actually take a look at, look at this, man. This, see, this is so intriguing when you actually break this down Fibonacci-wise, because when you break it down Fibonacci-wise, it feels like we've been down here, or down forever, right? But in fact, what you have inside the NASDAQ, inside the Qs, right, is you only did a 0 0.382 retracement, man. And when you only do a 0 0.382 retracement on a pullback, the probability, number one, is that you're going to blow away the high. And in this particular case, we're talking about 387 inside the, the Qs. And you just might get an ABC structure up, you know. So when you're taking the B point out, take it out with volume, guess what? You get action, man. So... This whole thing is, uh, we get, let's put it this way, we get a market. That, that's what it comes down to. You know, you got, you get a, you get a, we get a market that's going. And yeah, you know, you get, you get a choppy, bumpy, whatever, how you shake that out. Uh, but I suspect what we're also going to see is that if we take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see is that the dollar is going to give it up. Now, the dollar has been tough, big time. I mean, you know, if we take a look at this dollar, you can see that we gave it up, and then what ends up happening, it comes right back. And in fact, if you actually take a look at this, you know, you can see that, you know, I mean, even since it gave it up, you actually have, you know, three spikes higher. Now, that being said, the last two spikes, uh, you know, have given it up. They got to a higher high, gave it up on price, closed at the low, and what that sets up is that that sets up lower price coming at you. Now, I suspect that the first leg down, you know, is going to be this 104.699. You know, because that's where it took a long time to break out of that, you know. And if you were listening to Powell, Powell is bringing up the aspect of the, of the strong dollar. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line, you know. So everyone's aware that, uh, you know, between the dollar, between the bonds, the squeeze was on in, uh, in, in quite a way. There's no two ways about it. We go take a look at the... Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here and see what's been moving. Uh, so you got advanced, well, look at that, AMD. So bottom line is that this wasn't up last night, but uh, <laughs> this, this baby's up nine bucks. So check this out, man. Let me see, did this do this intraday? Uh... Yeah, it did, right from the start. Unreal. So it opened at 10, it opened at 98 and just didn't stop. That's pretty impressive, man. You know, they come out with the numbers last night. You know, now this is, that's a monster sign of strength, man. That is huge. Let's pull this back. Put that on a weekly. Yeah, same, well, not that's the same type of setup. But this is, this is on its way up to that uh, swing point. We're at 107. You get the swing at 132. You know, that's game. So let's go back to the higher volume equities again. So that was number one. Tesla's up four and a half bucks. Amazon's up 3.7. You got uh, Apple's up 3.2. We'll go back to Apple. NVIDIA's up 15, man. Look at this thing. Oh, my God. Uh, NVDA. Yep. And 
Amazon. Yep, and then Apple, I think we're coming out tomorrow with Apple, right? Let's see. Yeah, November 2nd. So Apple comes out tomorrow. Apple's going to be looking to do $89 billion, uh to the, the top line and $1.39 to the bottom line. You know, they, they're, they're saying that they're still growing, uh, what? They're growing by 4.5% in America, 4.5% in Europe, you know, 7 7 no, eight six percent in China per year. This is their products are growing by four and a half percent, and the services are growing by six percent. Now the products are three hundred sixteen billion a year. The services are seventy eight billion. You know what's amazing about the services? I mean, I remember when the services were almost nil, and now it's seventy eight billion dollars. What a what a trip! And I swear, you know, I just had to get. An Apple phone. Bridget just had to get an Apple phone. And it's almost like <laughs> these companies, man, they just know, you know, they, whether it's an upgrade that they do, whatever it is, you know, it gets in between your phone, zaps your phone, who, who knows? It, it just seems like that's, you know, and then you're, you know, then you need a phone, right? Last thing I wanted was another phone, but guess what? I didn't have a phone for four days and then. I went and bought a phone. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Yeah, you know what? What a racket, right? I mean, it, it really is a racket too. And it, and it's not. I I had I had the 12. I think now I get that 15 titanium. I don't see any difference, man. You know, you know, not not a bad phone, but I don't, I don't see any difference. And the bread is the bread. These days, well, especially if you do business on a phone, which we do. Not much you can do with it, but in, in our case, almost I'd say all of us not only do business, but we do trading. We do, we do, we do everything on our phone. So you need a phone. You need a phone that works. That's that's for sure. Um, the NQs. Let's go take a look at the NQs for a second. So the NQs, they're getting some juice behind them. Yeah, you can see that even the futures. The futures broke its downtrend too. Yeah, you know this is going to go right back inside. The, the range, the NQs didn't get in the range yet, the, the, with the, because of course that's the futures, but uh, bottom line, the Qs have. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow Industrial is up to uh, 17, NASDAQ up 208, S&P's up 44. Let's go take a look at the SPY and see where we stand out here. So... The SPY right now is trading up uh, 4.45. You got, you have both. You have the price move and the expansion of volume out here today. So bottom line, you know, as I said earlier, the, if we look at the futures, you get an intraday um, ABC up, folks, to uh, 42.77. And when you have an intraday one, which is always cool, okay, is that yeah, you can hit it that day, uh, but just something that you want to remember is that this doesn't get negated overnight, you know? So it's always cool. So let's, let's picture it, it's two different ways. You either just keep running, we're only at 42.57, so it's 20 points higher. That's one way. The second way is that, yeah, you pull back a bit, but if you pull back a bit, always remember that you still have that intraday ABC structure up. And when they pull back, you know, as long as the, you're not pulling back with monster volume, and even if you pull back under the B point, which in this case is 42.48, you know, Bottom line is you get an ABC structure up, which is really cool, man. We go to the Qs. We take a look at the Qs. What do you have with the Qs? Qs out here, they're doing uh, 54 million shares. So you get the expansion of volume there. They're already inside the higher range. You can see that they broke the downtrend, you know. And when you break an uptrend or a downtrend, folks, okay, you want to break it with conviction. And conviction is wide price spread accelerated volume. That's exactly what you have, you know. So, you know, we'll see... Um, and it's amazing time-wise to how it sets up, isn't it? You know, you go into it, you go into window dressing. It just happens that window dressing and the Fed's the same way. And then on top of that, if you didn't know it, November, you know, is one of the best months in the marketplace, period. I, I believe it is the best month in the marketplace. So that's really wild, you know, because we know percentages are always funny, okay? Now, when they say the best month in the marketplace, well, we're coming off lows, so yeah, you can go up pretty dramatically off a low, and you're still under the high, right? Always remember, folks, the bull can, <laughs> the bull can run you over. The bull can run you over, yeah. Oh my God. Okay, have a great night and a safe night. <laughs> Join Tommy tomorrow morning, nine o'clock, folks.